Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the newly released Diancy in the Open Great League, which is currently not available. So I ask people on my friend list to battle me and I get hard counter. That's basically always how it's gonna go. But yeah, today we're going to take a look at the new Diancy and I'm sadly not alone here. Hi, what do you mean sadly? It's always sadly. Of course, when we're away, we're going to have a Lily here as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically, I don't know how much we really want to say about Diancy itself. It's a fairly squishy Pokemon, of course. Basically, it just straight up a downgrade to Carbink, which is a very bulky Pokemon. But yeah, we're still going to run today our Carbink that is still not fully XL and still my old one. But I definitely got some good IVs already from London Go Fest, where we're currently commentating. Yes, we're here. <laughs> and yeah, we, we're here. We had our day today already in the park, which was way worse than it was last time around in um, Berlin was, I mm -hmm. think. Berlin. So yeah, I don't know. I think it's just was like the money issue. Um, I don't, I don't know. know. It was a lot of things that made it yeah. a little bit different this year. Like honestly, towards the rest of it, like if you want to go to Gofest or whatever, I feel like the city experience is definitely what yes. you kind of want to go for because mm -hmm. you have. Like, in the city, you have, like, all the spawns still. You don't really have, like, those um, biomes or whatever, but you still have everything that you're going to get in the park anyway. But in the park itself, it was honestly not really nice to play. It was... Yeah. There was not really anything built up. There were, like, small parts built up, but they were way smaller than before. Before, they had, like, literally biomes made for it. And yeah. That's the thing. I can already see people commenting because, like... Yeah, I obviously read your comments and stuff like that, and I see the things that people say to him. Um, but truly, if if you have been to previous Go Fests, you will know that there's like a specific vibe or kind of feel into the area, and you know that there was people who put an awful lot of effort into each of these biomes. That just wasn't the case here, and it's not to do with the biome. Like, it's not complaining about biomes. There were so much more little kind of things that kind of really took away from previous experiences that we've had. Um, Spawn-wise and the stops, they were really yeah. good. Like, they were really, really so yeah. good. But if they had have just matched the same atmosphere that we had previously, it would have really been... It would have been really special. I really do feel so. Like, like honestly, that's the thing. Like, compared to Berlin, or for Berlin, the, the biggest issue was definitely the stops. Like, they were next to, not, no, like, no, not, not next to no stops, <laughs> but it was definitely not really a goal fest like stops there, or like, also mm. spawns. But uh, for this one, yes, you had the like, spawns and you had the stops, but you had basically a plain um, park where it was like basically next to nothing there. You had no real opportunity to sit down anywhere. And that's not even the issue that there was nothing to sit yeah. down, but they just didn't build up. Like, they were huge towers of like... Stacked up tables yeah, and stacked, benches that yeah. just weren't put it. Like possibly they, you know, underestimated the time it would have taken to set up and like Friday just wasn't it. But there was a lot of kind of issues that needed ironing out, you know, like the tables and stuff. Like there was nowhere to really sit. Now I am, you know, I am from basically one giant field <laughs> where I come from. I don't mind sitting in the grass, but you know, when you're kind of tired and you just, you're trying to manage all of the different bits you have with you. Mm. Um, there was other stuff like facilities weren't the best. The toilets reminded me of a dodgy festivals that I've been uh. to in my earlier, you know, years. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just not something I expected from a more family friendly yeah. type event, you know. Especially as we had comparisons from previous GoFests, yeah. especially year like two mm -hmm. already or whatever. And like I had the one before, and it's just like it just wasn't it. But honestly, at least the city experience is kind of yeah. nice. That's some positive note for it. And also, the stops were definitely better than before, but like the in general. Go Fest vibe was like literally not there at all. Yeah. But also what I have to say, I feel like also the spawns were like way worse. Like before in Go Fest in Berlin at least, you had like everywhere and every biome um, the Snorlax spawning with the hat on. Like him and his little cowboy hat, yeah. Like that was way more exciting than the um, Aerodactyl right mm -hmm. now with a small stash thingy there. I did like him. I did think I, he's I do cute. like him, but of yeah. course it's not as good no, as a Snorlax. No, Snorlax just has a special place in yeah. everyone's hearts. As definitely. well as like it's a usable Pokemon, while Aerodactyl is, yeah, he can use it as a Mega, but even as a Mega, it's now all classed by yeah. several Pokemon in yeah. both categories, so it's kind of not really a good Pokemon to have. Yeah. And it's just not the same way, but no. I don't know. I, like, it's, I feel like I don't want people to misinterpret what we're saying. Like, it's not to complain well obviously we are complaining we're not like, not exactly happy 
But it's not to be all doom and gloom. It's just when you compare the city experience, the city experience is kind of flawless. Like yeah. the spawns are all there. You don't have to go to specific areas, which is something I actually yeah. genuinely liked to do at GoFest. But it just didn't seem to have, you know, the same kind of, I don't know, the same vibe, the same feeling as it normally typically did. And I am very hard done by the t-shirt situation. Oh, yeah. What the heck was this move? <laughs> yeah. Basically, if you were at, like, the GoFest in Berlin, you they were, like, a better area where, like, also a lot of content creators were, like, invited to and I think also sponsored to, to be there. I never, of course, but, like, other people were there. Like, they completely downgraded us. You were able to get codes and, like, a free t-shirt if you were able to, like, win three games in mm. a row. And they completely downgraded us. There were no t-shirts yeah. that you get anymore. The codes were way worse than last time. I think last time you got also some Elite Fast TMs. Around. You still got some decent stuff from it. Like, I yeah, don't... Yeah, the code stuff was, was it's, good. It's, it's still decent codes mm -hmm. for sure. But I think they were better even last time around as well. But, like, why do you endure it, like, completely? And there was, again, nothing to sit around this. There was, like, no place no. to just chill out or, like, yeah. hang out with people. It was nothing like this. The Battle Arena last year, like, the one in Dortmund was, was very decent. And the one in Berlin last year was really good. And there was kind of a big enough area around it where they put tables and chairs and stuff like that. So it was a real kind of social gathering kind of place yeah. whereas the pvp one this year is just kind of just kind of stuck there you know yeah. um and that was it like there was nobody around it there was no kind of like yes there was a guy trying his best you know with the yeah the microphone thingy and he's like oh come over and you know join in some pvp and whatever but there really wasn't you know we bumped into a lot of incredible battlers and trainers in the pvp area last year and we honestly just we didn't see anybody and then i kind of felt bad because i was kind of beating people who didn't yes. really know how to play the game and i kind of had that you know dirty feeling yes. i was like i won but for at what cost it, <laughs> you know, like, the kind honest, of like the only people that really tried this one out were kids basically yeah. there was like nobody that really played the game like this like you have to get into the finals usually and in the finals you beat like some mm -hmm. very decent opponent that knows what they're doing yeah. my finals opponent played a cadabra that was purified in the 100 percent variant a shiny gyarados that like, completely just stand and i completely forgot the last like pokemon a video you would make, to be fair. Uh, yeah i mean <laughs> that's true but like, it, it was literally like they had no clue what they were doing and they were like 11 Not so i'm sorry them. for beating them all as well i did want to give my little yeah. guy my ticket but he was already gone and yeah. i did ask him did he want to be my friend in pokemon which actually kind of sounds of a sus now but he said he had enough and i was like okay <laughs> <laughs> like honestly i have like this one dude i uh, sorry to him i think his name was ginger ninja in the game as well you uh, it was very very nice but like he didn't really want to talk to me as well then we battled and he literally after one game he just ran away oh bless him I'm so sorry man oh and the t-shirts for people who didn't know we always got the exclusive one it oh, was yeah. a different color yeah, never mind the fact it was a go fest t-shirt when you won a t-shirt from the pvp arena it was always a different color from the one that they were selling yeah. so it was just this extra little kind of i love that you know yeah. i read and like the first thing i was like right we have to go get our t-shirts because you know we were going to play until we won them yeah. we anticipated needing to, to play we didn't anticipate just going in and winning you know and um, we are humble sometimes. <laughs> I did use grass hold, but I'm not a <laughs> you're, you're, so, you're so humble. It's, it's insane. I'm so humble. humble. Yeah. I, yeah, I use Victory Bell. Hello. <laughs> no, but it was, you know, for me, I loved getting my little exclusive t-shirt and being like, I won this on GoFest, yeah. you know. Um, besides those kind of things, I'm trying to think of what else was not very apple um oh what i also kind of would say is if you go to the gofest park the distribution of the like the event parts there like the uh, biomes were also not really that nicely made we had like a huge biome for ice <laughs> yeah. we have like a huge biome for ice type pokemon we struggled to get out of the ice type. like it was basically <laughs> half of the park then hit on the outside some of the, the jungle ones. biome which was actually yeah. the one where you get uh heracross which would be something that you kind of want to get get from the but they were like basically next to no stops at that area compared to the rest of it so you were not mm -hmm. able to get anything like not a lot of spawns in that area and it was a small area for whatever reason and 
then you had the volcano agent that they mostly completely <laughs> forgot about because the water type Pokemon. <laughs> there were like some completely random water type Pokemon floating around. I don't know what they do in the volcano though. But also there was like like the volcano. <laughs> the volcano was just like a huge wall, like just just some random yeah, wall blast that, guy that didn't re the wall. That, that, that didn't really work. But there was also completely nothing around, at least like in the middle part or whatever. You had like some Niantic stuff going on or whatever yeah. where you can see something. The volcano island. There was like one random Snorlax where like people were standing for for whatever reason to make a photo yeah. of it. Oh yeah. But that was basically it. Like there was nothing around. There were no food stands. There were no. There's a few in the end. Uh, Remember near that swimming pool? Yeah. But I was confused why there was a swimming yeah. pool. Yeah. Well, it's just I don't know. Like there was basically nothing going on there. We basically completely forgot to go there because there was like nothing visible that yeah. there's actually a part of the event there because there was like nothing other than a few spawns. Yeah. And be careful. I did make a tweet. I don't want to kind of go on to that too much. Maybe we can just link my Twitter, but do be careful. We did see someone get arrested yeah. for stealing in the park. So please just be vigilant if you're going there. I'm like, sorry, this is our experience. You know, yeah. this isn't universal and we get other people can probably have a better time, but we can just say our bit. Yeah. yeah. This is basically our go first experience for day one. Yeah. I got a lot of shinies though. I'm most likely make a short for this one as well, yeah. but this is going to be it for this small video for the NC and a small rant about the go first park experience for us. But yeah, mm -hmm. hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.